It's now we want to get into that conversation with Kuria Waidaka, who is the head of corporate affairs and legal here at the Nairobi Securities Exchange, just to walk us through really what happens at the exchange. Thank you for making time. Thank you very much, Abi, and welcome. Thanks a lot. Welcome to the exchange. <laughs> All right. Yes. Of course, um, a lot of Kenyans trying to understand what goes on at the Nairobi Securities Exchange. Let's start off from there. Okay. Yes, thanks, Abi. So the, the exchange is really a platform. It's a trading platform uh, which is offered for the trading of securities, which include equities and debt, uh, debt instruments like fixed income, All right. and also other kinds of uh, securities. Mm -hmm. So what we have is we provide a market infrastructure, basically a trading platform. All right. uh, and that's where we are, in a sense, a marketplace. Uh -huh. Yes, yeah, for securities. So it's trading. like uh, an online marketplace. In, in a sense, yes. All right, uh, online and automated, yes. Of course, um, where we are standing right now is the trading flow where all the magic happens. And um, perhaps, uh, Mr. Idaka, just walk us through what is behind us and really, is this real time or <laughs> how does it work really? Yeah, thanks, thanks Abi. You'll note, actually, this is, we call this our trading board or market board or ticker, mm -hmm. depending on uh, which environment you're in. And what we have here is, this is actually real time, as you can see. Uh, from the time, mm -hmm. this is actually real time happening now. All this right. is the market as it is happening right now. Mm -hmm. What we have is that the various securities are all listed on the extreme, on that extreme side, on the left side. Yeah. Uh, all are listed companies and the securities which are trading. And as the trade is going on in terms of the buy and sell side, that is being, uh, in, it's been indicated on the screen. All right. So this is real, real time trading and you can see how your shares right. are performing as you go along and as the trades are taking place. Wait a minute. Now, of course, um, many Kenyans want to know what is a share, um, when you say bid price, and um, why should someone be interested in buying shares in the first place? If you can define what's a share and why should we have an interest in shares, really? Yeah. Well, thanks. Uh, a share is, in a sense, uh, it's a part of a company. You know, it's, a, in a sense, a stock that's held in a company. And as companies uh, perform, as they, as they go about their operations and their business, especially those, we're talking about profit-making profit, profit -making companies, mm -hmm. uh, this is, in essence, is a way for one to share in their profits. All right. And how you do that is by investing in that company uh, through, you know, by purchasing their shares. And as the share price, uh, especially hopefully it goes up, yeah. <laughs> you make money in the difference between the price that you bought it at right. and the price that you would sell it at. Interesting. Again, there's issues of, you know, you can do it short term and you can also do it long term. And mm -hmm. we always... We encourage more of long-term investing. So as opposed to buy today, sell tomorrow, All right. it's, you know, maybe sometimes you need to watch the market and buy and maybe hold for a while and then see when's the best time to, mm -hmm. to offload. So yeah. take an example. I'm out there. I want to buy a share. What's the procedure? And um, should I be having a trader to help? Now, how it works is that... Uh, the, the infrastructure as it is and the framework is that one needs to go through what we call the trading participants. So those are otherwise known as brokers, what is commonly known as stock brokers. Yeah. You need to go to them and open what's known as a CDS account, mm -hmm. Central Depository Settlement Account All right. uh, with them, which you give certain details and they'll do what we call the know your, you know, you know your client or know your customer, uh, all that kind of information. Mm -hmm. And then once you have opened the CDS account, you then place orders with them to buy. And when also when you're ready to sell, you already purchased and you want to sell, mm -hmm. you then also place orders for them to sell. And then they're the ones who will undertake the, the actual transaction. They are, all the trading participants have systems that are connected to this, to our system as well, you know, because we provide mm -hmm. an automated uh, mm -hmm. trading platform. So right. the systems are linked and they talk to each other. Uh -huh. So when you go to your broker and tell him, place mm -hmm. an order to buy X number of shares in this company, they place that order if the shares are then available and All place right. it. And then this is the kind of activity that you see them moving here. Not okay. this cumulative, of course. Uh -huh. <laughs> yes. So, of course, um, there's also the listed companies at the exchange, um, which um, right now stands at about um, 30, if I'm not wrong. Yeah, actually, we actually have 65 listed companies. Oh, sorry, yes. 65. And, and there's also the, what we call a real estate investment trust as well. All right. Yes. So looking at um, the listed companies that are trading at the exchange, um, how often can someone engage in buying a share? What's the minimum you can buy? What's the maximum? Uh, you can purchase any time. Again, the, the market is open uh, on weekdays between 9 and 3 p.m. Uh, so that's, that's, the time, that's the time when trading happens. Of course, orders can be placed beforehand, but the traders are there at the end of the day, that's when the, the market is available for them to, to make the purchases. In terms of minimum shares, we look at 100 mm -hmm. uh, for one to be able to trade. In terms of maximum, well, it's... Uh, 
<laughs> it's a buyer's market. It depends <laughs> on your appetite and also, of course, the kind of capital that you have right. uh, available to invest. I'd like you to just hold your thoughts for a while. We want to listen in on what Kenyans think about what happens at the stock exchange and what are some of the big jargons that are used here. For example, um, market capitalization, NAC 20 share index. Let's listen in on what Kenyans know about the exchange. These shares, bonds, equities, all these are terms used on a day-to-day -day basis by businessmen. But do the common Wananchi really know what they mean? I'm on the streets of Nairobi trying to figure out what exactly the common Wananchi understands by these terms. Here is what they had to say. I've heard of, I've heard of it, but I don't know. Okay, what about bonds? Bonds. Are you talking of bonds from uh, flesh or uh, <laughs> which kind of bonds are you talking bonds. about? B O N D S. Oh, bonds. Yes. Okay. Do you know what bonds are? Uh, there are different kind of bonds. Chemical bonds, uh, family bonds, so many. So which one do you want? Equities. <laughs> what about equities? Equities. Yes. Do you know what equities are? Equities. Yes. Uh, simply comes from the word uh, equalizing and uh, equities. Yeah. What about 20 share index? 20 share index? I've never heard of that. <laughs> what is that? I'm aware about Nairobi Stock Exchange. But initially I used to participate in it. But since uh, the Safari Comel PO, uh, the challenges which was associated with it, actually I lost confidence. From that time I've never participated in it. Nairobi Security Exchange? What about bonds? Bonds, I know there are some uh, investments you do, uh, which uh, uh, earns you some interest at, uh, after some lets. Do you participate? No. Why? Uh, I've not been keen on it. Yeah. What about equities? Uh, equities, uh, that one I don't know much about it, but I know it's some investment, which you do maybe with an insurance company or equity company which earns you some interest after maturity of something. And I say, who has you like in one is here, like in the future, Chote Kuyuzu. For me, I know it starts with, uh, it begins with the national something. So the rest, I, I'm, not, I'm not well sure about. Okay. What about bonds? Do you know what bonds are? So bonds, uh, there are various types of bonds. So you can know bonds in terms of, uh, you know, back in high school, chemistry. Yep. So you can know bonds, maybe. Uh, the real boss uh, in human beings and all that. NSC, I've heard of NSC, NSC, but I don't know more details about NSC. What about shares? Shares, uh, I also do hear about it, but I don't have that deep details about shares. And boards? Boards, uh, I also do so. I, I know I've heard, but deep meaning not yet. <laughs> okay, I'm, uh, I'm my financial advisor. Do you know what NSC is? NSC, you know, I've had it for, for it's the first time to get that word. Can you even guess what it could be? NSC, I can just say N stands for national, I don't know the other one. Okay. Yes. I have no idea what NSC means. What about bonds? Bonds? I only know about the bonds in the, in the law courts. I don't know other bonds, but I don't know how, how it's all about. What about equities? Equities? No, I have no idea. I've never heard about it. But I hear people mentioning about it, but I don't know what it is. What about bonds? No, no, no. Oh, Even no. about words. <laughs> oh, no. Shares. Yes, I know about shares. What are shares? <laughs> I can't explain. What about equities? Equities. As in equity bank or equities. Now remove the Y and add mm -hmm. IES. No, no. <laughs> I don't know what is equities. Well, interesting views there by Kenyans across the country. Our colleague Ashley Mazuri was out on the streets just to gather their views. And of course, interesting um, um, sentiments coming from Kenyans. And um, perhaps uh, before we start talking about what else you do at the NSC, of course, that being the NSC Investment Challenge, um, some interesting terminologies uh, mentioned there, such as um, shares traded, uh, market capitalization. What uh, does shares traded really mean in simple terms? Uh, shares traded, in essence, is what is the, is the number of shares mm -hmm. that are traded in one 
in one day, in one market day. Uh, and this is, you know, is done cumulatively, and at the end of the day, a market mm -hmm. report is released on that. So uh, in, terms, you know, in terms of trading, you have the buy side and you have the sell side, those who are buying and those who are selling. Oh, yeah. So cumulatively, all that is known as, uh, as, as I said, trading. All right. So that's also the shares traded, you know, let's say with Safaricom, mm -hmm. a million are bought, two million are okay. sold, you know, it's that cumulative. Uh, Good insight. Effect. Yes. And um, when you talk about market capitalization, sometimes um, I hear people throw those words as well. <laughs> <laughs> market cap is, is really about the, the total investment. Uh, how do I put this? It, it's, it's essentially the, the overall, you know, everything cumulated, all, right. all the shares traded and their value worth. Okay. Uh, that is what is known as market cap. Mm -hmm. So at the end of the day, let's assume uh, there were a, a thousand EABL shares of, at X price and yeah. Safari come at this price. So that number of shares times uh, the price, uh, now for the, all the counters. So that's that's a market cap at any one point. Okay. In time. Yes. Right. And, and um, it also has other in other, in other, in other scenarios, but inferences. Yeah. Yes. All right. And um, let's now get into the other aspects that happen at the NSE. Of course, uh, we know that um, you did start off um, NSE Investment Challenge. Yes. Perhaps in brief, take us through what is the real um, objective of this challenge. Okay. Yeah. Thanks. Uh, we have what we know as the NSE Investment Challenge. And uh, this is a public education initiative that the exchange started 10 years ago. Actually, this year, just a few days ago, we launched our 10th, uh, we had our 10th anniversary and launched the 10th edition of the, of the challenge. All right. It's in this essentially an investor education uh, in initiative and campaign All right. because we appreciate that uh, not many people may know what uh, trading is about. The same questions you're asking me, you know, what a share is, how it trades, how does one open a... An account uh, and how to and essentially you know about uh, understanding about the market. So right. we feel for people to be able to invest and participate in the in the market, they need to know about it. So okay. we have this uh, program, which was primarily targeted towards uh, the youth and especially those in tertiary institutions, universities, colleges, mm -hmm. uh, because we want to get them when they're in a sense still young, so All that right. they, it becomes part of, it becomes habitual and part of their, their lives, so that they can then learn about the market and and, and start trading. It's a virtual, uh, it's a virtual challenge, right. a virtual competition where, upon registration with a, a small fee, you then get onto an online platform. Mm -hmm. We give you access to an online, online platform, where you also get three million Kenya shillings uh, worth of virtual money, All right. which is yours, and you're allowed. To, you're supposed to trade it, and whoever, in terms of getting a winner, it's whoever trades the most and gets the most uh, profits in, that, in, in a three-month period. All right. uh, and that, that's, those are the ones who become the winners. And, and those money are then uh, actually now get into the actual exchange. Awesome. Now, the good thing about this challenge is that uh, this is market information that's brought to them live. They have access to actually all this information on a real-time basis. Mm -hmm. uh, there's also an online discussion that may go on on blogs. And you, know, you have to give a rationale for why you made a certain trade, why you sold or bought certain shares. And that's also to, just to help hone your, 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 your skills in terms of trying to identify the best place, the best counter to be on, and also to also encourage those others who are also with you. Okay. Yeah. And Fantastic. maybe I should also mention that we have now opened this to the public because we realized yes, it's good to keep it within, it was okay to keep it within that, uh, All right. that ambit of, uh, of the tertiary institutions, but now we've actually opened up to the public, but only from a knowledge perspective for the public. Fantastic. Yes. yes. Well, of course, um, quite some interesting um, perspectives you're sharing there, Kuria Waidaka. Yes. Many thanks. He is the head of legal and corporate affairs director at the NSC, just trying to break it down for us in terms of what really happens here at the NSC. Of course, uh, my